Uh, we need you right over here, right in the center. Okay, so I see, I see the t-shirt the says, what does it say on it? Cherry pie. And then when we run over here, what does it say on it? Cherry pie. All right, so is this the truck or is that you? <laughs> this is a truck. That's her name. That's Cherry Pie. You know, uh, uh, what's your name? Introduce yourself. Hi, I'm Kate Whiting. I am from Chatek, Wisconsin, and this is my girl, Cherry oh, Pie. Man. Go, 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 go. Woo! We're going to show right. her off. But he doesn't understand. I'm taking my boots off. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Here we go. All right. Here's my girl. Oh, yeah. And show there them the back. Is. Here's our dash. My knobs. But this is the sweet 73 back here. Her lit up cherry pie sign. There you go. It's perfect. perfect. <laughs> And uh, how long you been trucking? Oh boy, I'm new to trucking. Yeah. I got my CDL um, when I hit 40. Yep. And so now uh, you're 35. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so just a few years here, but yeah, um, new to trucking. In fact, this is my first truck I ever purchased. Are you serious? Yes. Yes. So we got to get into the specs of this then. Okay. What What year is this? This is 73. 1973 in fact i didn't even really understand what she was when i found her i was really new i um introduced to trucks because of uh, health coaching really and um my very first truck show was in eau claire wisconsin and i went as a health coach to help the guys with their med cards and i was blown away i mean th it was just like there was so much personality in the people and the trucks and the combination they say people are like their dogs these guys, it's like you can meet a truck and know the driver. It was just phenomenal. I was just like, this is just amazing. I wanted to get more. And they're like, if you love this show, you're going to want to go to Casson. Like, Casson is hundreds of trucks. And so I went down to Casson, then it was my second show. And one of the drivers down there said, how do you, would you like to drive one of these? I'm like, oh, oh. So I got to drive a W900 in the parade. I was hooked. Hooked. I'm telling you, this is unbelievable. <laughs> and you said it is a 70, what, three? 73. Oh my gosh. Yes. Look at this, guys. I mean. Yep, so I found her on a backcountry road and um, fell in love with her. Absolutely fell in love with her and took me a year to get the old boy to let her go. Got all his stories and found out all about it. And I just uh, got her home and just had fun with her, just buffed her out and took her to a few fun shows and just really got a chance to enjoy it. I love that. Can you walk us around and yeah, let's absolutely. see some of these specs here? Absolutely. So she has got the long long hood on her. Um, this is what started the restoration project was to be able to put the double eagle on it. Um, found this on sitting on an international uh, just outside of uh, Toma, Wisconsin. And really excited to just put the bunk on it. Wanted to just match some colors. And before you know it, we got her tore down and starting from scratch. <laughs> I love it. I love it. <laughs> um, the heart windows uh, were about six months to find. The vanners, the vanning community helped me find those original 1970s heart windows. So that was really phenomenal. So hats off to those guys. They were fabulous. Um, this is original wheelbase. Really? Yep. Original wheelbase on this truck, which is unheard of too. We put these on here to protect the rocks from getting thrown up into the bunk. All. There's a little bit of interior there. Oh, you know they got to see inside. Yeah. Oh, it says cherry pie right there? And it's a lit up sign in there, yep. Yeah, I love it. That's great. So the interior, we stuck with the, um, the double eagle. Um, layout the three inch um, striping for the full interior then kind of a fun story to the floor here since we haul furniture that is um, what we haul on a daily basis you guys haul furniture haul furniture yep yep a lot of um, a lot of Amish products and such and one of my manufacturers 
there's a, a type of furniture that I haul uh, made out of their maple. And so three years ago, when we started this project, I told him, we've got to, we've got to do the floor in your guys' maple um, flooring. And so one of them came out and put my the flooring in for me. Oh, so one, wow. one piece, Kenworth floor in it's maple. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. Yeah, so that was... We had that Armstrong chrome, didn't we? That silver and this is old school. This is a true yeah. twin stick, right? Yeah, it is. This is actually a, a, a seven and a four. A seven and a four? Seven and a four. Um... Lifetime lug nut made me the pedals. Nice. Yes. yes. You know, uh, uh, JR is a good JR, friend. JR, JR is awesome. Yeah, I JR love is JR. a good friend. JR you remembers. Know, yeah, the second truck show I ever went to in Casa, and I met JR. Of course, you know, I didn't know who he was. I'm just walking around, and I just smarted off to him, and he hasn't forgotten it since. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. Yep. And oh, Steve and Lucy Pearson did um, the knobs for me as a gift, so those were a gift. Wow. It's beautiful. Thank you so much. It's and we beautiful. have to share some candy. All right, if Cherry you guys come down, make sure. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Got to share some and a pie plate. Cherry pie. <laughs> you know, and usually, you know, when you're talking about old school, it takes about 11 people to pull open this hood. So does that just mean you're extra strong or what's going on here? <laughs> Actually, I, I don't really have the height to grab this one very good. We're going for it. Yeah. That's my girl. It's I just gotta get the height. But no, you, you jumped up. Great. So what we got here? Okay, so this is our 3408. Um, really fun. When I got the um, this truck from the old boy, it came the truck originally came with the um, the 1693. And so when I got it, he had a great big industrialized radiator in here and just super gnarly how he had it all, all piped in and everything. Yeah. So just changing the radiator was a huge project. <laughs> Um, but the 3408, tons of power, lots of fun to drive. Oh, when she starts up, you know, the sound is just... <laughs> <laughs> I love it. When I first bought the truck um, and played around with it, I pulled it for the first time in Casson, Minnesota. Wow. Yeah, had a ton of fun with pulling it. Um, Eldon Yeager out of Iowa sat, sat uh, shotgun with me and helped talk me through it and how to do it because I had no idea what I was doing, but he sat there for me and... We got the polar. We had a great pull. So. That's great. No, yeah. you know, uh, what's your advice to all the, you know, there's a lot of ladies out there that want to get into trucking, but they're a little scared. Yeah. You know, uh, uh, men and women, everybody gets a little scared when they're new at this. You know, uh, any advice, especially that you're you're going so cool these days, you know? Yeah. <laughs> um, you know, find the love of it. Um, find, find the passion with it, what you enjoy about it, and then find someone who's willing to just be patient and help help walk you through it. I mean, there's a lot of things that I'm still learning and I love it when some of these other guys walk in here and maybe they know things about this truck that I don't know yet um, because I am new and, and it's pretty cool. Um, but just the patience of people and sticking with it because there's a lot of, a lot of tears and a lot of frustration that went into just, you know, shifting the first time. You know, and that and this thing with the twin stick and I just had to ask one of the old guys, I'm like, sit in here with me and teach me how to do this and just being willing willing to just slow down and learn i love it and that was um that was that's what it takes and, and not quitting because there's it. a lot of times you want to quit no, but. that's beautiful you know, <laughs> and, that's, and that's real um overall you know yeah definitely let's send it off uh any people in this world that you love you hate that you'd like to shout out <laughs> Oh my goodness, you know, the crew that put this together, we, we um, had the truck painted up at Sands in Minnesota, but after that, this was put together by friends and family right in our shop. And so without their help, we couldn't have done this. I mean, we, we're not professionals at this, and it was just really a lot of heart and a lot of hot dishes. <laughs> I, I put it together, I said, we may not be most talented, but we had the most try. That's beautiful. And that's, that's really how it went. That's cool.